Raiders, how are you? Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of January, and we are going to start with yesterday's trade. But if you stay tuned till the end of the vid, guys, I'm also going to give you my trade ideas for today and the important news for today as well. Um, but let's start with yesterday. So we were looking at US dollar strength and Euro US dollar, we were therefore looking to sell. Why were we looking to sell it? Well, if we look at structure, yeah, we was in a range, not knowing really what was, you know, going to happen. Would it break this level? Would it break these lows? And then Kapow. Yeah, we got this bearish candle that broke these lows. And that was the catalyst to start looking for sales. All right. You know, and then but even then, you know, price action's been a little sideways. But yesterday we had a real bearish reaction. If we drop down to the H4. It was it was tricky to trade the price action on all of these US dollar pairs were tricky because basically you know we're thinking right price is building up this level did hold and in hindsight which we don't have in trading we could have entered aggressively on this H4 candle for our stop above here and take price lower okay that would have been an aggressive trade and that would have paid off yesterday but I was looking for a break of this level because we wasn't sure what H4, you know, trend was doing. And once we got up, we did get a break. But then look at the wick on this candle, you know, that was pretty much at these lows. So there was no value once we got the break. You know, I was looking for more of a retrace into here and then we come lower. But instead, you know, this will happen if you wait for a retrace. You know, sometimes it won't come and then price will just go kapow and it will, you know, just shoot down. But interestingly now, guys, yeah, we are getting that retrace. So you can see H4 has broken these lows, even these lows. And now we're getting that retrace. So euro, US dollar in here somewhere today could be really interesting. But no trades yesterday. And, and this tricky price action was the same with pound US dollar again. We were looking to sell this pair. Why were we looking to sell it? Well, price was in, you know, this downtrend. We've broken these lows in here. If not, we were definitely getting lower highs, right? Price came up to this interesting level. And these, this wick kept closing below this, and we were below the moving average 20. Okay, so we were seeing sellers coming in here. And then yesterday, look, sellers, you know, coming very strongly. But again, it was the price action. You know, if, if I, you know, let's go back in time, right? At this point right now, you would be thinking, Tom, yeah, look at this. We're in a H4 uptrend. We've broken these highs. Yeah, let's go for it. This could go higher. But... And you, you know, and you would be well within your rights to think that. But that's why we have a higher time frame bias. And my daily and weekly told me that we were looking to sell this. So I'm not interested in buying this. All right. You must have a bias that the higher time frames tell you. Um, and then just look what happens after that. If we go back to normal time, it just absolutely, you know, drops like a stone after that. But again, this this very sudden quick drop made it difficult to trade you know i was interested in a break of these lows yeah if we go to the h1 chart because you know this level through here is where we actually had a h1 structure break yeah because if we follow h1 structure you know at this point when we break that level we're in a downtrend all right but look at the break yeah, when we get a break here, there's no value in me selling this. I'm I'm looking for a retrace, then I sell it. But again, yeah, it just comes shooting down. Right. But you know, but right now it's at an interesting level, and this could well be a short idea for today. Uh, and the final one was gold again, just not nice price action. Okay, but again, we were looking to sell this because we were looking at US dollar strength. And if you just you know, if we just understand why we was in this range between here and here with gold, and then this candle broke these lows, 
All right, as soon as we saw that, we got a nice retrace into an area of resistance, um, you know, and it's, you know, rebound off this area once, and it also rebounded off that area again yesterday. Um, but this H4, you know, uh, again, at this point, you know, if I go back in time, at this point, you're thinking, I don't really fancy, you know, selling that. And that was the, exactly the point at where the market came storming down. Yeah. You know, and we got this nice big bearish H4 candle. But at this point, again, it's a question of value. Because if I start entering here, put my stop above here, really, I, I need to take some profit here. Because this is where the market has told me that price can react. So there's no value in this trade. Yeah, even, if, you know, it could come down to here. But this level here is important. It's told you, the market has told you it's important. All right, so again, we, we couldn't get into gold for those reasons. Um, but those are the trade ideas from yesterday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's analysis, you enjoy receiving my trade ideas every day, then please come join the channel. Yeah, if you could smash that subscribe button right now, guys. Also smash the notification button so you receive an alert. And also, guys, if everyone could please smash the like button. Salamat, uh, grazie. Um, right, guys, so trades for Wednesday the 24th of January. Um, before we get started, let me just mention a few things. So if you haven't joined our trading community yet with like-minded traders, then please do so. Come join our free Discord channel. Um, also, guys, we have a VIP Discord channel where we are running a 50% off discount right now on our yearly subscription, all right? Within the VIP Discord, you get access to me, as in you can ask me questions throughout the trading day. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen, entry, stop loss, take profit. Um, you also get access to the Trading Academy, which is just full of tutorials that will help your trading. You also get access to a performance coach and uh, the strategies that we test drive, guys. So loads of value in the VIP, 50% off. Um, also, guys, if you would like to be mentored or coached one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. And finally, guys, if you would like to become a Simply Forex YouTube member, then you can. Okay. Uh, perks are you get early access to this video, you get a weekly tutorial, and you get priority questions on the live stream. All right. So check it all out. Also, don't forget, live stream today, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Come join me, get all of your questions ready. And that leads me nicely on to question of the day. So, guys, which indicator do you use the most? All right, so in your trading, which indicator do you like to use in your trading? Maybe you don't use an indicator. You can also tell us if you use no indicators. But guys, let us know. We would like to know what indicator you use. Leave a message uh, below this video. Right, trades for today then, guys. I'm going to start. These are not trade ideas. These are levels. They're potential trade ideas, but they're against trend, and they're more levels that I like. And they're all pound pairs. So I really like this pound Aussie dollar level. Yeah. And I like this bearish candle from yesterday. So this has the potential for movement to the downside. Um, I also like pound New Zealand dollar. It finally come up and hit this, hit this gray zone up here. And again, if we zoom in, just look at the candle we got from yesterday again it's against trend yeah that's clearly in an uptrend but potential room to the downside um and also pound yen yeah uh, you know it, it's just the fact that it's hovering at these weekly levels yeah these are weekly levels guys and we're starting to see you know sellers come in we all buyers are still there as well but i still like this for potential sell sells but again against trend so I just wanted to show you those levels on pound pairs. Um, what I am interested in today and my first trade idea 
is still going to be the US dollar majors. So all the US dollar majors we looked at yesterday. So euro, US dollar. Yeah, still like this trade. Okay, so why do we like it? Because it is structurally in a downtrend. Yeah, we're in a downtrend. You can clearly see lower highs. Yeah, lower lows. All right, so we're in a downtrend. Um, yesterday's candle could be more bearish, but it's bearish enough. Okay, it's bearish. I don't like the fact that this wick has closed back into these lows, but it's still bearish enough for me, and there's enough room to move into one of these blue lines. Okay. Um, what I really do like about this pair as well, if we drop down to the H4, you know, we've clearly had a, you know, a break of these lows on the H4, and, you know, we're clearly in a H4 downtrend. All right. Uh, and all we're looking for is a retrace. You know how I roll by now, guys. I love a retrace. If I don't get a retrace, I let it, you know, I, I don't care. I let the trade go. I have no fear of missing out. I need a retrace. All right. So as you can see, guys, this gray zone in here where you can see price has reacted historically. Just want to retrace into here. You know, perhaps the moving average 20 comes round. We get a bearish reaction. And then we can start selling euro, US dollar. I will take some profit here. Let some profit run. All right. So that's the first trade idea for today. Um, the next one is pound US dollar. And this is retracing nicely. Again, if we look at the day chart, yeah, we were seeing structurally, we were seeing potentially, you know, a daily breakdown. All right. I know we're at support here, but this still has a bit of room to move into. And again, you know, similar candle to Euro US dollar. It's it's bearish, but this bottom wick. I don't like the top wick. I really like because I want I want sellers in the market. But again, what's really pushing me towards taking this trade are the H4 charts. All right. And now look at that H4 chart. It was clearly just following this trend line, this channel upwards, and then kapow. This broke down um, like... Uh, Gascoigne in Euro 96 or whatever it was. Anyway, terrible reference, but it's breaking down, all right? Breaking down, and we're getting a nice retrace. So if we get a bearish reaction in here somewhere, I'm looking to sell this back down to these lows, if not further. All right, and then the last US dollar pair I'm interested in is this um, gold. So exactly the same trade ideas as from yesterday. Um, there is also another one, guys, that I'll show you in uh, a minute. But again, nothing's changed on the day chart. Yeah, we was in this, you know, downtrend stroke range. Yeah, price broke this level with this candle here. We've retraced to this level where now we've had a nice reaction twice here and here. We've had a nice wick reaction. If we drop down to the H4, this is a little bit gruffier than pound US dollar and euro US dollar. But ultimately, you know, this hasn't broken this high. If it breaks this high, then I'm wrong. Yeah, and I'm not interested in selling this. But until then, we're looking for sales. If we drop down to the H1, yeah, so... You know, like I say, guys, I'm doing my analysis now. Maybe we've missed out on an opportunity here because price has reacted bearishly here, and this was going to be the first idea. Okay, perhaps price comes back up to this level, and we get another opportunity to sell at this level. Then great, we can. Okay, if price just continues down, obviously I'm not interested in selling into this or or, or this. The other idea would be to get a complete breakdown of this level, a retest. And then we start selling gold as well. Um, so, yeah, they're all the US dollar majors I'm looking at. They're free trade ideas. Uh, I'm also looking at one more, guys. But before I do, if I could just ask everyone to subscribe to the channel right now and also smash the like button if you enjoy receiving my trade ideas every day. All right. And, um, yeah, so the last one is this, is euro against the Canadian dollar. So if we look at the day chart, I am aware 
that on some brokers this this hasn't broken the lows so let me explain so again euro canadian dollar has been in this downtrend stroke range okay and the idea of all these bearish candles is to take price to the bottom of this range yeah makes sense if we look at this is fxcm all right if we look at this candle this has broken the low of this candle all right but important to point out if we looked at oanda you can see this candle hasn't broken these lows regardless though guys you know we're still in this range yeah and we have a very bearish candle so this would suggest we can you know at least take price back down to these lows in here all right so i just wanted to make you aware of that and, and if you're not sure about a level or if, if or if it's broke look at different brokers um but eurocad if we go back to fxcm now you know regardless of what you're looking at there's a big bearish candle coming from the top of a range with room to move into okay if we drop down to the h4 now uh, this is also retracing to a nice level but again this would have been tricky price action yesterday because someone in the vip asked me tom would you be looking to sell this from up here and i just wouldn't because it had broken h4 structure but then we just got kapow yeah and it broken this low and now we're in a h4 downtrend okay price is you know retracing if we get a nice reaction in here maybe the moving average 20 catches up we get a bearish reaction and then i'm looking to take price back down to these lows all right guys so yeah those are all of my trade ideas for today let's take a look at the news now so news for wednesday the 24th of january guys so um yeah we've got it's quite a busy news day so at 8 30 yeah we've got pmi data coming out of germany so manufacturing and services this combined is a three-star rating must be aware of this 30 minutes later more pmi data services composite and manufacturing all coming out of the euro all of these times are london gmt types um, but again, all of them together are three-star rating. So from 8.30 to 9, that is going to be big news for the euro. Um, after that, guys, at 9.30, we've got more PMI data coming out of the UK. Um, so services, uh, composite and manufacturing. Again, all of those together are a three-star rating. And then uh, we have US dollar PMI. Okay, so 245 coming out of the US, manufacturing and composite and services PMI as well. Again, three star rating. Um, if that wasn't enough, guys, we have an interest rate decision coming out of Canada. All right, so obviously, this is, you know, big daddy, big mummy news. Okay, so they're expecting to keep the interest rate the same at 5%. Um, but, you know, this monetary policy report, um, the statement, and most importantly, you know, uh, an hour and a quarter later, the press conference, yeah, this this tells us how they derived at the interest rate decision. And all of that can really move the Canadian dollar. In between that, 3.30, we've got crude oil inventories, which can also move Canadian dollar, US dollar, and obviously oil so must be aware of all of that guys um don't forget join me 7 a.m new york est time for the live stream today guys get your questions ready for me um please subscribe and like the channel have a great trading day